These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hello, I'm Megan Thompson with your afternoon update from ABC 15 Arizona. Some menu changes are in store for the school cafeteria. The USDA is rolling out a new policy with the goal of making lunch even healthier for your kids. ABC 15's Jimmy Warren has more on what will change. Well, you may remember over 10 years ago when Michelle Obama helped to implement a new school lunch program. It was adding more whole grains, fruits, veggies on the menu. Well, now the big focus is going to be on salt and sugar, which is in this bag. So the recommendation is no more than 12 teaspoons of sugar every single day. You might think, I don't typically eat this much sugar. But as it turns out, a lot of breakfast items and lunch items have sugar hidden in them. This granola bar, for example, has three teaspoons of added sugar. And this syrup has three teaspoons of added sugar. And this right there is already half of your recommended daily serving. What are you guys going to get? When students sign up for breakfast and lunch next school year, they'll still get most of the same meals they're used to. But those items will be modified, meaning products with less sugar and less salt. You know, I was uh, not long ago in a school that was serving French toast sticks, which kids love uh, for breakfast. But instead of having a sugar sweetened syrup to dip them in, they had a uh, strawberry puree. That's Cindy Long with the USDA. She explained to me the new policy that requires all schools participating in the national school lunch program to limit the amount of added sugars and salt in the food and milk they serve. While the new rules are in effect now, schools can use this year as a training year to get acclimated to the changes. Then by next year, cereal, yogurt, and flavored milk will have to have limits on the amount of added sugars in them. By 2027, all meals will have to have a limited amount of added sugars, equaling less than 10 percent of calories served across the school week. I asked Long what is being done to make sure that all schools have access to menu items that meet these new requirements. We've also been working really hard with uh, food uh, producers, big and small, that sell to school meals uh, to really encourage them to develop and make available tasty products that have less sugar and less sodium. And I'm really pleased to say that many are stepping up. Data shows that one in five children in the U.S. are living with obesity. And experts say teaching kids about good choices in the school cafeteria could lead to better decisions about food down the road. And as these new changes go into effect, Consumer Reports dietitian Amy Keating suggests looking through the menu together and encouraging healthy choices rather than pointing out what you don't want them to eat. You're going to have to reinforce it, but it pays off to just stick with it. And you say, I thought we said we were going to pick the broccoli. Oh, I forgot to pick the broccoli. Well, let's try tomorrow. So the same goes for when you head out to the grocery store. Maybe you're packing your child's lunch. There are a lot of items that are marketed towards kids, but they have a lot of hidden sugars in them. Think yogurt, juice boxes, even this Lunchable has them on the back. So just make sure that you are checking that label as much as you can. I'm Jamie Warren, ABC 15, Arizona. Jamie, thank you. Taking action to help foster kids find housing and careers here in Arizona. We know finding a home can be difficult. That's why Maricopa County is investing $150,000 for a new program called Hope Tech. The program features a new 64-bed residence hall at the East Valley Institute of Technology. It's a place for vulnerable young adults aging out of the foster care system to lay their head while also receiving career technical training at EVIT. Time now for that motion accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. Watch for strong storms that could pop up in the valley by the afternoon today. So the timing a little earlier during that afternoon and evening rush hour. These storms could produce some strong winds, areas of dust and heavy rain in the valley. And in the high country, that risk for heavy rain continues to be a factor too as storms are likely there through the morning and then clearing out before more storms fire up this afternoon. And for the valley, we'll be watching for those thunderstorms this afternoon into the evening. After sunset, those storm chances really trend down and then we'll see those storm chances clear out starting tomorrow. That high reaching 107 today in Phoenix. Cooler in Flagstaff, only 75 there, and cooler in spots like Sedona with highs in the upper 80s today. After today, drier air pushes in. That's going to clear out those valley storm chances and drop those storm chances significantly in the high country too. Temperatures are going to be near normal through the weekend for highs. Those overnight lows a little cooler too, down into the 80s here in the valley. Another update tonight. Until then, get the latest news, weather, and traffic at abc15.com or you can download that free ABC 15 mobile app.
These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.